Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today for daily prayer on this last day of January, Tuesday, January the 31st. Let's hear God's word together and pray together. Remembering we follow the noon prayer in the Lutheran service book, page 296. Daily lectionary also in the Lutheran service book, page 299. So let us pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading for this January the 31st is our Old Testament reading coming from Zechariah, the 10th chapter, beginning at verse 1 and going into the 11th chapter, verse 3. Ask rain from the Lord in the season of the spring rain, from the Lord who makes the storm clouds, and he will give them showers of rain to everyone, the vegetation in the field. For the household gods utter nonsense, and the diviners see lies. They tell false dreams and give empty consolation. Therefore the people wander like sheep. They are afflicted for lack of a shepherd. My anger is hot against the shepherds, and I will punish the leaders, for the Lord of hosts cares for his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them like his majestic steed in battle. From him shall come the cornerstone, from him the tent peg, from him the battle bow, from him every ruler, all of them together. They shall be like mighty men in battle, trampling the foe in the mud of the streets. They shall fight, because the Lord is with them, and they shall put to shame the riders on horses. I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph. I will bring them back, because I have compassion on them, and they shall be as though I had not rejected them. For I am the Lord their God, and I will answer them. Then Ephraim shall become like a mighty warrior, and their hearts shall be glad as with wine. Their children shall see it and be glad. Their hearts shall rejoice in the Lord. I will whistle for them and gather them in, for I have redeemed them, and they shall be as many as they were before. Though I scattered them among the nations, yet in far countries they shall remember me, and with their children they shall live and return. I will bring them home from the land of Egypt and gather them from Assyria, and I will bring them to the land of Gilead and to Lebanon, till there is no room for them. He shall pass through the sea of troubles and strike down the waves of the sea, and all the depths of the Nile shall be dried up. The pride of Assyria shall be laid low, and the scepter of Egypt shall depart. I will make them strong in the Lord, and they shall walk in his name, declares the Lord. Open your doors, O Lebanon that the fire may devour your cedars. Wail, O Cyprus, for the cedar has fallen, for the glorious trees are ruined. Wail, oaks of Bashan, for the thick forest has been felled. The sound of the wail of the shepherds, for their glory is ruined. The sound of the roar of the lions, for the thicket of the Jordan is ruined. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our New Testament reading from 2 Timothy, the third chapter, verses 1 through 17. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers, will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power. Avoid such people, for among them are those who creep into households and capture weak women burdened with sins and led astray by various passions always learning and never able to arrive at knowledge of the truth, just as Janus and Jambres opposed Moses. So these men also opposed the truth, men corrupted in mind and disqualified regarding the faith. But they will not get very far, for their folly will be plain to all, as was that of those two men. 
You, however, have followed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions and sufferings that happened to me at Antioch and Iconium and Lystra, which persecutions I endured. Yet from them all the Lord rescued me. Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. While evil people and impostors will go on from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The devotional writing this day from the Treasury of Daily Prayer comes from An um, Anselm of Canterbury. Christian soul, soul raised from sad death, soul redeemed from miserable slavery and set free by the blood of God, rouse your mind, dwell upon your resurrection from the dead, and ponder well the history of your redemption and your liberation. Consider where the strength of your salvation comes from and what it is. Employ yourself in musing on it. Delight yourself in contemplating it. Shake off your sloth. Do violence to your heart. Bend your whole mind to it. Taste the goodness of your Redeemer. Break forth in fires of love to your Savior. Bite the honeycomb of the words that tell of it. Suck their savor more pleasant than honey. Swallow their wholesome sweetness. Bite by thinking. Suck by understanding. Swallow as you love and rejoice. Gladden yourself by biting. Exalt in sucking. Fill yourself to the full with joy by swallowing. Where and what is the strength and power of your salvation? Christ, Christ assuredly has raised you up again. He, the good Samaritan, has healed you. He, the good friend, has redeemed you with his life and set you free. Christ, I say, Christ is he. And so the strength of your salvation is the strength of Christ. Christian soul, here is the strength of your salvation. Here is the cause of your freedom. Here is the price of your redemption. You were a captive, but you have been redeemed. You were a slave, but by him are made free. And so in exile you are brought home. Lost, you are reclaimed, and dead, you are restored to life. This let your heart taste, O man. This let it suck. This let it swallow while your mouth receives the body and blood of your Redeemer. In this present life, make this your daily bread, your nourishment, your support and pilgrimage. For by means of this, this and nothing else, you remain in Christ and Christ in you. And in the life to come, your joy shall be full. We continue in prayer. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. We're bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We lift to God in prayer that his will be done for Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen and Rob, Ellie and Nelva, David and Bruce, Christy and Art, Marilyn and Chris, Arlene and Colleen. O Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all of our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>